Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchar Dadeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present the last day of June Lead Code Challenge. After solving today's question, we will be getting the 14th batch starting from May 2021 till today. We haven't missed solving even a single question and it has only been possible because of the love and support that you guys have shown me, the confidence that you guys have shown me that have encouraged me to put more content on YouTube. With 780, 790 videos already there on YouTube, the byproduct of this consistency has been success stories all from the top notches, Google, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Microsoft and whatnot. You name a company and one or the other subscriber has cracked it up. So the success stories playlist is all in front of you and more will be added in the upcoming months. This is definite. Now let's get back to the problem, which is minimum moves to equal array elements to for all those who have been associated with the channel may know that we have already solved this question in the month of May 19, 2021. The like says it all, the comment says it all. It's not a very difficult question and I have solved this question in the length of four minutes. So do give this a shot, do try this up and I'm pretty sure after solving this, the approach will be crystal clear to you. And for all those who have not been aware of coding decoded SD revision sheet, please guys do check this out. The response have been quite overwhelming. The comments that I have received on lead code, it is helping a lot of people out there, especially the young engineers. So if you have an important interview planned very soon and you don't know how to revise the most crucial topics like dynamic programming, graph, tries, binary search, backtracking, bit manipulation, two pointers, sliding, window priority, gives matrices, cells, then what you need to do, you need to check out these sheets up. So the first one that you will see in this sheet would be the template that represents the concept. And once you are, once you have understood that concept, then it's time to apply the same concept on the rest of the questions in the increasing order of difficulty. So start from the easy, medium and hard. And once you go through this entire sheet, then try concept will be on your tips. So do give these sheets a try and I promise it will give you enough confidence to crack these concepts in interviews. Also, I have highlighted questions that are highly asked in interviews using the double asterisk sign. So if, if you have an interview planned very soon, like tomorrow or day after tomorrow, then these questions are must do before then. I'm attaching these links in the description below. So do check this out and coding decoded GitHub Bravo speaks for itself. We have been solving these questions from August 2020. This, we started this journey then and today with a lot of pride, I can say this, we are gonna rock it up. Together we will make it a success. With this, let's wrap up today's session. If you enjoyed today's video, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.